Well, there has been some uncertainty over the SU house show scene, what will, it will look like next year. Many venues said goodbye for good this weekend as their founders, SU seniors, are about to graduate. Citrus TV reporter Anna Levitch spoke with students about the future of shows. As the school year comes to an end, three of the four house show venues at Syracuse University are closing their doors as their founders prepare to graduate. House shows at SU originally started as a way for students not involved in Greek life to go out on the weekends. People pay an admissions fee to see many student musicians perform at DIY music venues and off-campus homes. SU seniors Kenneth Barrist, Jen Jordan, and Lauren Brennan shared a bittersweet moment as they said goodbye to their venue, The Garden, on Friday. Like seeing like the majority of people like in the space like like crying with us and like coming to us after the show and just like like crying in our arms and telling <laughs> us like how much it meant to them to like have a space like this it was just like the most like amazing feeling in the entire world the co-founders have already received questions from SU students interested in creating their own venues next year although they aren't passing down the garden they're happy to help in any way they can we're gonna help as many people as we can, just um, getting, figuring out logistics and just like, you know, we have a wealth of information and if they need advice on anything, like we're open to, you know, helping out because we want to grow the community. Barris, Jordan and Brennan hope the community they've helped build will continue in new spaces next year. They especially hope that other venues will approach booking artists with the same intentionality as the garden, which traditionally booked many diverse, underrepresented musicians. House shows are a national trend that stemmed from the 60s counterculture, and it doesn't seem like they'll be disappearing from SU anytime soon. For Citrus TV News, I'm Anna Selevich.